Hello everyone, welcome to Force Galaxy. So in the last video which I have shared is related to the fresher hiring and the job openings and the calls. Okay, so in the same video I got so many queries related to the topics. Okay, so the topics are like what topics should a fresher should prepare to get uh, uh, to get himself prepared for the Salesforce interviews. Okay. So let me tell you, there can be two type of interviews. One is non-Salesforce skills related interview and one is Salesforce skills related interview. Okay. So when, so when I was a fresher, so at that time, I remember three questions were given to me. That was, uh, I have to code in the Java itself. Okay. And whatever the technical round was taken was also based on the Java skills. Okay. So now also, if you are suppose in a third year or in a fourth year and giving these interviews, so for the Salesforce itself and you know about the Java, okay, and you know how to code in Java, then the, your interview will be taken on the Java skills only, okay. But there are many, those who used to take trainings or the coaching in the Salesforce itself, like uh, two, three months training they used to take, okay, or in their last year itself, they used to learn about the Salesforce and do practical or the internship based on the Salesforce itself. So in such cases, the interview which will be taken for you will be on the java is salesforce based only okay and now what would be the topics which will be considered in this salesforce or in the java okay so in the java obviously they will going to check your oops concepts okay and your concepts on the collection because the collection is the thing which is used in the apex okay list set map how good you are in handling them okay and if you are if you have prepared yourself for the salesforce interview so in the salesforce as we know there is a development part and there is a admin part okay so in the admin part flows and the security model are the two hot topics which you can prepare okay if you know about the basic flows okay and if you are cleared or have an knowledge on the security model then that is very good okay they can a basic thing is they can ask you about the security model and the basic questions like profiles permission sets and all okay and in the flows they can ask you the types of flows we have okay and when to use which flow so this can be come from here and if we talk about from the development part so there only the trigger is the thing which can be asked okay do not to go with the asynchronous or integration and all okay these are very vast topics and not meant for the freshers because these topics give us exposure or can be cleared only when we used to work on the real-time projects okay so just try to focus on the basic triggers you should know how to write a trigger you and you should know how to handle the maps and when to use which trigger what are after before and what are the different events and the context variables are there okay and all these things are already available on this channel if you go through the trigger so in this video i want to clear okay just do focus on the main topics okay and do not try to cover everything okay because what happens in such cases you only get confused with the concepts and will not be able to clear out the basics okay the main thing is to clear out the basic you should know what is the security model why permission set why profile okay you should know what are after trigger or before trigger just do not take a theoretical overview over them okay just try to understand the concept or the basic behind them okay if you are clear with the basic and know when uh, like suppose after and someone ask you after and before triggers what are they when to use which one so if you are clear with the basic in a one line you can cover everything okay but if you are not clear with the basics okay and if you only just theoretically go throughout the things then that you already uh, you yourself will be confused in explaining the things okay so you just have to avoid the confusion in your mind okay just try to learn in a way that you are understanding the basics also okay the concept behind them okay so hope this video is helpful for you and if you still have any query or any question do let me know in the comment section we'll try to cover out the same in the next video thank you